This morning in the Roadshow Kitchen, you guys are in for a real treat. This guy to my left, your right, the Mud Hustler. No, that wasn't my wrestling nickname in college. No. It's this guy right here. He's a Weight Watchers bro. How you doing? How you doing, Brendan? Nice to see you. Welcome to our show. Jonathan, is your right? Yes, yes. Mud Hustler wasn't the birth name. Uh, no, and uh, don't get confused. It's not Mud Wrestler right. or uh, Mud Slinger. So. That gets confused a lot. Well, talk a little bit about what it is you do, because it's really your your rise here uh, to prominence is quite remarkable. Yeah, well, uh, basically, I'm not a. Uh, my only experience in the kitchen has been stuff in my face for years, <laughs> and uh, it led to some health problems and some weight problems, which, uh, you know, I want to be uh, healthy for my family, and I had to make some changes, and uh, this is the way I'm doing it. Uh, I came up with some pretty uh, good recipes that. Uh, helping out a lot of people. Absolutely, one of which you'll be doing for us here today, bird balls. What do we need to know? Yeah, we're bird balling today. Um, <laughs> well, basically, it's pretty simple. Most of my recipes are because I'm not a trained chef. All right. I'm actually a cement finisher, so that's the Mud Hustler name. Sounds good. Sorry, it's not that mysterious, but um, <laughs> you know, all you have here is some lean ground uh, chicken breast, some lean ground turkey breast, grated Romano cheese, some breadcrumbs, salt, garlic, uh, Onion powder and some uh, eggs. You know, Mud Hustler, may I call you Mud Hustler? You absolutely Dr. can. Dr. Mud Hustler. If you get out of hand, I got the wooden spoon, so <laughs> He's going to knock some sense into me is what he's going to do. I must tell you, I love things that are simple, not because I'm a simple guy, but I think some of us in the, well, maybe a little bit, some of us <laughs> in the kitchen are a little intimidated, and we're not really sure where to begin. This is something that people out there can follow Anyone along Anyone can do this. You don't have to be a Weight Watcher. It's, uh, you drop these in your Sunday gravy, and you're a hero. Right. Uh, you know, you, you're talking about uh, 112 calories per bird ball as opposed to almost 300 calories for a regular meatball. So Great stuff. And it tastes good. And I, absolutely, well, that's the key to it all, isn't yeah. it? And I love the fact that you've taken your own personal story and sort of turned it into a positive thing that will resonate with people out there. Yeah, just sharing what works for me and it's helping out a lot of people, so I'm going to keep doing what I do. This is the guy, Mud Hustler. He's got the spoon. If I get out of line, he's going to knock some sense right back into me like all the guests here like to do. He's a Weight Watchers bro. Yeah, see, he's getting ready. <laughs> he's making the bird balls this morning. You don't want to miss it for now. Back to you. Now, Mr. Money is in the kitchen. There he is, Will. <laughs> From your mouth to God's ears, let's hope. All right, we are back in the Roadshow Kitchen. Mud Hustlers here, Weight Watchers Bro. We are making bird balls, which is a combination of? Uh, we got gra lean ground turkey, right. lean ground chicken breast, uh, grated Romano cheese, breadcrumbs, salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, and you can really make it your own and, and just put in whatever you want. Whatever you want. Any seasonings you really want. I actually do this, especially this time of year. Uh, mm -hmm. We throw these on the grill. You don't even have to make them into meatballs. Oh, that sounds good. And uh, it's great. And uh, it's it tastes good. That's the whole thing. And how do they hold together? Because I've actually just tried to make like a, a chicken burger with like the chi ground chicken. Sometimes it doesn't hold yeah, well, that's together why so well. We got a half a cup of breadcrumbs and a half a cup of um, of uh, Romano cheese and two eggs. This holds together. Really so it holds well. together. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. And a lot of times you can't you can't taste the difference. It's it tastes great. Listen, I could never survive off of grilled chicken and baby spinach alone. No. I needed to find a way that I could live a healthier lifestyle. Right. And the food could taste good and look good. You know, because um, my whole thing is, you know, I gotta eat like a fat kid and still lose weight. That's my <laughs> motto. So. And I just gotta ask. Did I, I like that. Did I did I scare Brendan away with the spoon? No, 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 no. Uh, I think he's okay. I think he's okay. He's, oh, he's very was, he's very sensitive. So I, I yeah. think he's okay. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna mix this stuff. This is so simple and mm -hmm. easy because I'm not a chef. But you were saying even just small changes in your daily routine. Look, I'm a meat and potatoes guy. I'm not a seafood guy at all. Yep. I love hamburger. I love steak and ribs and all of this stuff. But even just combining something like this can really, you know, change. Things you know, for you, you. got to get in the kitchen and experiment. My uh, my whole thing is, you know, I, I'm not trained in the kitchen, so right. I watch the Food Network. I, I like to eat. I, I, I try to emulate all the unhealthy stuff that I did eat. Right, and replace it with something. And just maybe. make, and just cook smarter. Mm -hmm. So I hope you understand. I'm dropping a lot of Oz here. Oh, that, I am, no, I am from good. Massachusetts, so. All right. Um, yeah, so that's really what it is. Uh, it just kind of altering your favorite stuff right so that it's more of a, um, a lifestyle than feeling like a, a diet where you're restricted and they say after a while after you mix some of these things into your diet for for a couple of weeks or for a month or so it's, it just becomes pretty natural it is it's it it, it turns into just uh, habit routine. yeah it's routine and um, 
you don't feel deprived. I mean, I I got so many different mess recipes. I'm making whoopie yeah. pies, fried Oreos, Sounds donuts, good. all that so, stuff. So he's going to keep mixing this up. We will uh, put these together, talk about what else is going on, and maybe some other great recipes, and how you can change things up in your daily routine as well. Back to you. That is great stuff. We're talking about how we want that. Uh, Mud Hustlers here, Weight Watchers, bro. Bird balls are what we are making. Something to add into your diet uh, to make you feel, you know, make you feel good. Like you can have some, make these meatballs. They taste great. Yep. You're not going to really know the, the You're not going to know the difference. That's the important thing. And, uh, you know, and you can make these into burgers, too. Mm -hmm. You can throw these in a soup, put them in salad. We top flatbread pizzas with them. It's just very versatile. Oh, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Um, so what do you do on the flatbread? Just kind of, like, break, just break it up and just toss it on there, too? Yeah, you cut them up, you put them on there. You can have them, you know, I have them pre-cooked and cook them here. We, we go through, like, two batches a week. Oh, you do? Yeah, because everyone in the family loves them. Right. And you don't have to be trying to live a healthy life. It's like accidental healthy because mm -hmm. it tastes good and um, it's easy to make and everyone enjoys them. So what was it for you that made you go, you know what, I need to do something. I need to make that lifestyle change because for a lot of people, it, it takes a long time for them to go, hey, you know what, I better st stop eating all of this junk or the, some of the stuff that I'm eating. I really have to make that change for not only myself but for my family. Well, this time, I mean, I've... I've I've approached uh, weight loss many different ways. Uh, it's usually been like a crash diet. Right. Um, this time, it was for health reasons. Sure. And I want to live for my family. Absolutely. And, and, um, you know, so I approach it completely differently. Uh, it's if I'm going to do this for life, I have to find a way that I can enjoy it and not feel deprived and uh, enjoy the food I like, enjoy life, and and still live healthy. All right, all right. Brenda's going. Hey, Brenda's going. Brenda's was coming. Talking about me during the last session. Yeah, what are you guys team? <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> it is. I'm, I'm not with the double team. <laughs> I don't like this. I, wasn't I feel surrounded. <laughs> this is great. It's a mud hustler sandwich. Yeah. So what do we got coming oh, on? <laughs> no, we can make one of those though if you want. <laughs> Sounds like a good name. For um, me. So I'm just rolling them out right now. Uh, I'm not measuring them, but they're about. I take about three ounces each, and you're gonna get. Between 12 and 14 of these bird balls, I'm just going to wash my hands. Yeah, okay, sure. right, we'll good. be here holding now, it down. Now, one of the other things that you were also saying, too, is a lot of times people are wondering if they're, if they're going to fall apart, if they're not going to hold it, but you've added a bunch of a bunch of different things. Why, yes, I have. Why, yes, you have. <laughs> uh, between the, Great job, Brendan. Thank between you. Between the, um, um, the breadcrumbs that you put in yep. and some of the Parmesan cheese really holds it together. Oh, yeah, it holds it, it together. And... Um, it's uh, oh, I, I got some still yeah, on me. That, that's, that's all right. right. We that's got right. the dynamic duo um, was here. <laughs> it's all right. Yeah. Here. So yeah, no, it, it holds up on the grill. Mm -hmm. Um, it, it obviously it holds up. I, I cook them in the um, muff, muffin tins because they they cook perfectly every time. You don't have to worry about it. it. Doesn't make a big mess. And like I said, anyone can make this stuff. It's and just, you, people probably have these at home already. So yeah. That works out even yeah. And I make about. Five million other different recipes where you're going to use muffin tins anyway. So there you go. Right. You know. So it makes it easy. All right. So now that you've got these mixed up, you th put put them in the oven. Yeah. So they're going to go in the oven, 400 degrees, 20 minutes. Just leave them. You don't even have to worry about it. Yeah. That I'm going to assist. Them. Here we go. Look at that. Right there. Thank yeah, you. Here we go. Toss those in. We're a good team, guys. <laughs> we are good. We are back down the road. We yeah. are a good team. And then so, you've got some others in there. Yeah. Too. Magic of TV. I'm learning all about that stuff. They look great. Look, I don't even have an oven mitt on. <laughs> he is. <laughs> he's a superhero. Defying death. Yes. What is he doing? It's wow. a super I like that did that with my foot. I've been okay, working on so that. Okay, so here's the finish. The finished product. The finished product here. here. Oh, you're this. diving right in. What do you, oh, no, oh, no, no I got it. Yeah, yeah. What do you need? I'll just that, stand that's back. That's what I need. Let the mud hustle You read my mind. Work. Well, so, yeah, um, if only I could do that with the these ladies. These are great. The whole family likes them. Mm -hmm. and, and, um, we were talking earlier, I mean, uh, Will, I'm sure he talked to you, too. How rewarding is it for you to take that personal story, to take what it is you've done in your own life, and to sort of turn that around to help people? Uh, I mean, it's just, it's, it's pretty amazing because... Um, all I'm doing is sharing what works for me, right? And it's helping out a lot of people. Yeah, right. because you have, for for any people who don't know, you have a an enormous following on social media as well. Yeah, it's it, this is crazy to me. <laughs> I, I still I'm trying to wrap my mind around it, and I, I can't figure it all out. But I'm just doing my thing. Is is just me and me. I'm right. not really trying to do anything except right. You know, and the and through it all, I'm helping people out. Mm. He's doing this without even trying. Imagine not if even trying. What I, I mean, <laughs> kids, apply yourself. Okay, <laughs> try. But for me, it's just hey, it's, it just uh, it just came in. It just yeah, all worked you guys, out. You got dig in. Right, so we're doing we're a great job. Dig in. We're really happy to have you here. This looks terrific. slice in half. And oh man, people oh, man. are like, oh, it's not going to taste and the I'm, same. They taste great. I'm telling you, I just took my grandmother's recipe and I subbed out. You know the pork and the veal. Right. We're using really lean chicken and 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 turkey, but. You, you'd never know. It tastes oh great, God. right, guys? Yeah. It tastes delicious to me. Oh yeah. my goodness! And that everybody can follow you on social media and find yeah. you there. So you guys can find me um, Dude, I'm you, on great. Facebook. You can find me Mud Hustler. 
Uh, and on Instagram, I'm Mud Hustler Official. And I'm cooking all kinds of stuff. I'm, I'm cooking waffles the size of your head, <laughs> donuts, whoopie pies. We got to have them back. This is the Sounds Mud good Hustler, you guys. Weight Watchers, bro. If you'd like his recipe, you can find it at roadshow.com.